Hi everyone, this is Mihail and welcome to another video of mine. The purpose of this video is to quickly show you how I used robotic process automation, also known as RPA, to automate a repetitive task in my personal life. I run a pick up basketball session every Saturday on Meetup, which is a great website for hosting any sort of events, by the way. Some people pay me in cash on the day, whereas others pay me in advance through PayPal. As a result, before every game, I need to create a list on my phone of all the attendees who have not paid. This is quite hard to do in Meetup. So I decided to use the Wonderlist app, which you can access on a desktop browser as well as through mobile. However, the process of creating the list is very tedious. First, I need to go to Meetup's website and copy all attendees one by one into Wonderlist. Then, I need to look at PayPal and tick off whoever has already paid. Sometimes, the names some people have on PayPal don't match those that they have on Meetup, so I also had to make a mapping between the two in an Excel file. Now, I could try building a script in Python to automate all of this, but it would take me a while to figure out how to link up with the website's APIs. And after all, it's just a small personal task, so I don't want to be spending more than the amount of time I would save in return for finding a solution. This makes it a perfect use case for RPA. The technology is offered by a number of vendors, and I am going to go with UiPath. It's incredibly easy to use and free as long as you're not part of a large enterprise. Okay, so I'm now going to open up the UiPath Studio application and show you the script I've already created. I split the entire process into a number of subtasks. We start off by going to the Meta website to extract the list of attendees into a variable. The variable kind of works like a table, which eat each attendee's details being placed into a row. The data in the variable is then reshaped so that it is easier to interpret in the script. One example is when an attendee is bringing a guest. The Meetup website will record this under a single row, but the script adds another row in order to reflect the fact that there are two attendees mentioned in that single entry. We then go to my PayPal account's web page and check if anyone has paid me in advance for a basketball session over the past week. If that is the case, we will mark all of those who have paid in the variable that holds my list of attendees. We use the Excel mapping file to match the names in PayPal with those on Meetup. We then go to the final step, which is to create the attendee list in Wonderlist. When creating this list, the script will check off any people who have paid me in advance. All right, let's run the script to get my list of attendees for this week. You can see the script working its magic in the background, following all the steps I have described so far.
at the end, it's actually also going to show me a message where it says how many attendees I have for the session and if there were any people who paid me through PayPal but I couldn't find in the attendees list. Now that it's done, I can see who needs to pay me when I meet them on the basketball court. I can also view the attendees who are stricken off the list because they've already paid me in advance. All in all, this script saves me about 15 minutes of repetitive copying and pasting. This might not seem much, but remember that I have to do this every week. And even more importantly, I don't have to worry about making mistakes when entering the names or marking those that have already paid in advance. So thank you for watching this video. I hope I managed to give you an idea of how you can leverage robotic process automation to help you with repetitive tasks, whether they are in your personal life or at work.